we all know that ChatGPT can solve problems, generate content, and even help you code. But did you know that you can also use ChatGPT to make an app? Usually, when you create an app, you need to have good knowledge in coding and app development. But in this video, we're going to use ChatGPT to generate the code and create a simple basic app like this one. So make sure you watch this video till the end. Hey guys, welcome to Tech Trick Tutorial. Today, we are going to talk about on how you could go ahead and build an app with a ChatGPT. It's a step-by-step -step guide to follow easily and don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button. Let's dive right in. So right now we are inside ChatGPT where we can go ahead and make our very own game. If you are having a hard time developing your app, you could just go ahead and ask ChatGPT for some suggestions. So I am just gonna go ahead and put this prompt right here. Could you suggest a simple game that I can build using HTML, CSS, and JavaScript? So let's just go ahead and hit send message right here. And instantly, ChatGPT will go ahead and provide us some answers. So for the simplicity of this video, I am just going to go ahead and make a tic-tac-toe game. So right here, I also have this simple code. I want to create a tic-tac-toe game, so generate the mobile responsive code for HTML, CSS, and JavaScript. And ChatGPT will go ahead and provide that code for our chosen game. So right now, ChatGPT has finished generating our code for us. The next question is, how are we going to go ahead and test this code out? Well, I have a website for that and it's called CodePen. As we can see right here, it's asking us for the HTML code, CSS code, and JavaScript code. So the next thing to do is to go back to our ChatGPT and copy our code one by one. So for our first one right here, we have the HTML code. Let's just go ahead and click the copy code option right here. Let's go back to CodePen website and let's go ahead and paste it to the HTML section. Let's go ahead and go back to ChatGPT once more and let's go ahead and copy the rest. As you can see, we have our game right here that we can go ahead and actually test. As you can see, as you can see, this code perfectly works, but we can still go ahead and make a few adjustments or modifications to make it our very own game. So let's just go back to ChatGPT and add these few prompts. So right here, I added this prompt, add a linear gradient color in the background, add in the title above, develop by tech trick tutorial, show player win and draw in a new screen, and add a button for a new game. So let's just go ahead and send this to ChatGPT, and hopefully it will provide us with the specific code that we need. So ChatGPT told me that in this modifications, he added a linear gradient to the background, Display the developer information above the title, show the results, swim or draw in a new screen, adjusted the color and styling for better visibility and aesthetics. And he also told us that we could go ahead and feel free to further customize the styles and lay out according to our preferences. So I already copied the code right here and we can go ahead and see a major difference to our game. I'm just gonna go ahead and test this out. As we can see, it told us here that player O wins. We could go ahead and select the play button once more. And also, if we want to go ahead and restart our game, we could go ahead and click the new game option right here and it will go ahead and restart our tic-tac-toe for us. So I'm just gonna go ahead and make some few adjustments that I need. And after that, I'm gonna go ahead and come back with new additional codes. So right here, I just managed to add a few modifications to the game. So first things first, we have the developer right here, which is a random name. So after you finish a game, it will go ahead and pops up in a new window displaying the winner of the game. And there's actually a button here that you could go ahead and press to play again. So now that we have a working game, the next thing to do is, is to go ahead and paste these codes into our notepad. So let's just go ahead and open our notepad right here. And for the first one, I'm just gonna go ahead and copy this HTML. 
and I'm gonna go ahead and paste it inside our notepad. Let's go ahead and click on file, click on save as, I am going to go ahead and save it into my documents folder and I'm going to make a new folder right here. After that, I'm just gonna go ahead and save this notepad inside that created folder. And after that, we have to save the file as index.html. Go ahead and change this into the all files option and go ahead and click on save. After that, let's go ahead and create a new notepad and let's go ahead and copy the CSS code. Let's go ahead and repeat the same steps. This time, the only thing that we need to go ahead and change is the name of the file. So for this one, as you can go ahead and see, we have styles.css right here. So we have to name our file style.css. Let's go ahead and do the same thing for our JavaScript code. And for our Java code, we should go ahead and name it script.js as we can go ahead and see right here. So now that we have our code right here, we can now go ahead and access our game locally. I'm just gonna go ahead and open this for you guys. And as promised, the next thing to do is to go ahead and translate this code into a mobile app. Now the first thing to do is to go ahead and upload our game into this site called Tinyhost. So let's just go ahead and open our folder right here. Right click your folder, go ahead and click send to and go ahead and choose the compressed zip folder option. After that you have to go ahead and drag this file inside the website right here and you have to go ahead and log in an account. I'm just gonna go ahead and use Google here. So right now our game is live that we can go ahead and share to our friends. As you can see right here, this is our game that we can access through our online browser. After that, we will now go ahead and head into this site called Web Into App. So the first thing to do is to go ahead and go back to our app right here. Let's go ahead and copy our URL and let's go ahead and paste it right here. Go ahead and name your app and go ahead and click on next. After that, let's go ahead and set our icon right here. This will serve as the icon for your app. After adding your icon, just go ahead and click on make app. Let's go ahead and click the free Android app right here and let's go ahead and register an account. So once it is done, we can now go ahead and download that app by clicking on the download option right here. Click on the download free and it will go ahead and download a zip file. After that, I'm gonna go ahead and open this folder up for you. I'm gonna go ahead and open the folder android and basically this is the apk file if you don't know what the apk file is that is the only thing you need to go ahead and install an application on your android phone so the only thing left to do now is to go ahead and copy this file maybe in your google drive or something that you could go ahead and send this file into your phone and after sending it to your phone make sure to go ahead and click on this file and you will go ahead and instantly install your application so guys, thank you for watching and if this video has been helpful for you, please consider by liking and subscribing. I'll make sure to see you again next time. Thank you.